Hello my lovelies and welcome back to the 1.12, that's right, 1.12 Survival Let's Play. And today, I guess I should probably talk to you for a second. So let's just jump into it. Okay guys, so I know it's been a little while since I've had an LP episode out and that's because a lot has been going on. And I did the next UHC, which was amazing and the support on that has been great. And I've done two live streams, which have also been amazing. You guys are great. I absolutely love it when you guys come out and we can just chill and, you know, grind stuff out while having a good time. And since the last time that I recorded on here, we have hit 300 subscribers. That's right, 300. I never thought that I'd have 100, let alone 300 of you amazing people following me. So I just wanted to say thank you so much. And without further ado, I'm gonna show you what I've been up to off camera. In the last episode, we worked on this, a nice little blacksmith building, and we didn't really get into the interior of it, but I, I haven't finished it. So today, I would not only like to work on the interior of here, I would also like to show you what I've done. That's right, we now have this nice little river area that we have worked on. It's not quite done. I still have to do the bottoms. So the lake bed or, well, I guess this is more like a pond, but we have done a lot of the detailing on the outside. We've added more trees. And then of course we have this nice little bridge, which I absolutely love. I like this look, the little, campfires as a wooden bridge. It just, to me, it's just lovely. And then it goes from here all the way around. It just gave us something else kind of in the middle to tie it all together. So this tree and this little rock formation is possibly one of my favorite parts. It just, I don't know, it just screams me kind of. <laughs> So it goes down here. We have this tree, which I did on the last stream, and then goes down to here and ends right at kind of the base of the church. It just added a little something. I really want to add some more, probably some more lighting, some more detail, but for now, this is how it looks, and I've I'm really quite enjoying it. I haven't done a lot of terraforming in this series yet, so this was just a nice little break, I guess, from all the grindy building. But this is what I have so far. And I'm actually going to cut to a few clips of me doing some of the work so that it's not just like, oh, here's the thing, you don't see how I did it at all. So I will speak to you in a second.
I hope that you liked that little bit of a uh, clip action that you just saw. <laughs> and the other thing that I want to do today is I want to finish off this windmill. And I know that sounds like kind of a lot to do in one episode, but really it's just interior. And if you haven't already seen, I do have an interior tutorial. So this will just be a more hands-on interior lesson. <laughs> All right, let's do it. Okay, since this windmill is mostly gonna have storage on the inside, I wanna make sure that it looks exactly like that. It's gonna look like the only thing this windmill is used for is to put the farm goods. So I need lots of storage, lots of just detail for the inside of this space. So we're gonna do the good old fashioned trap door shelving unit trick and I really like mixing them up because it just, I think it gives it a little more detail. So I do kind of want it to look centered with the stone parts of this. So even though we're gonna have that excess space on the side, I just think it'll look best if it frames the stone parts in the, come on. All right, so I think that's probably a good size and it really, is going to highlight the parts that I want it to. So we will take, uh, let's try a crafting bench, add a little bit of shelving action here. Let's see. So we're gonna be putting them on the top part of the bottom block so that we can add either chests or barrels on top of it to make it look like it's sitting. So let's add a chest here and maybe a barrel. Let's flip that. And yeah, I want it to stand up instead of just being open faced, give it more variation. And I really just don't like this crafting bench here. I think it just doesn't, doesn't look right. So we'll just have an empty shelf because eh, what does it matter? There's going to be lots of storage in here. So we'll move on to, I think, this side. Yeah, we'll do this side first. So again, just jump. Come on, jump. <laughs> Where's the other trap doors? Okay, so jump up. Oh, I forgot to do it down. That's fine. So another two of those. We'll just, you know, not be able to function. <laughs> Okay, so we'll do some more shelves over here and we won't do it exactly the same on each side, but we will be using these as shelves. All right, then let's see, what level do I want another shelf? Right there, I think that's good. So we'll put a chest here. There we go, now it can open and we'll have some more barrels. And let's see, let's jump up here. So, all right, I can do something like that. Yeah, I think I like that. I think that that is different enough from that one so that it doesn't look like I'm just doing one thing. All right, and I think we're gonna put another chest here. All right, so let's see, back out go in. There's a lot of that when I build, especially interiors. I want to make sure that when you go through, you really get the picture of what you're looking for. And I think this is, this is a feel that I could get on board with. So let's make some more of those. Yeah. Yeah. I think I like that. And then we'll just put some more shelving up. I think because we can't use that space and we can't do another layer going up from the side, we're just gonna try to hide it. And we're gonna make it look like the shelving is there and you just can't see the sides. Because, you know, if you can hide it, why not? Use as much space as you can while still looking good. 
I know sometimes that things that I do can seem a little cluttered, but I think in the end it feels very real. And that's what I like. I like trying to make it feel useful. Even if you're never going to use this much space, I really like that feel that you get from it. And adding some random lanterns, not in any particular order, just kind of adds a little bit of dimension, my favorite word. So let's take out some more trapdoors. Let's give ourselves more shelving to work with. I don't think I like that very much. I might, I might change it. But I'm starting to think that I really need to figure out how to add height into this too, because we do have quite a lot of space. So let's add a chest there, another barrel. I mean, let's see, look in, I think, I think that looks good for the first layer. So now what I need to do is find a place to put some more shelving here. And I think at this line really will give us a different eye line. Okay, so adding some more shelving up here is obviously going to bring the attention up. So it's just nice to fill out spaces like this as much as you can for how high it is. And being a windmill, I couldn't really just put a ceiling on it. I thought that it would look really silly. So adding some more shelving units, like I said, will just bring that attention up and not make it look so out of place because it is supposed to be a storage unit. It's just supposed to be somewhere where we can collect stuff. So adding that really just hammers it in and you don't think twice about it. So let's just add that variation. And I think that's actually really good. I don't need much more shelving, but what I do think I need is to bring some of those hay barrels. You know the hay barrels that we have out here? I think adding some more in like a loft looking space will really add something to it because right now it's just kind of generic, I guess. I mean, not generic in a bad way. I don't think by any means that this looks bad. I just think that it's not added anything really special yet. And I know hay barrels aren't that big of a deal, but when you add them into a build like this, it literally is just gonna put that pop of color up in the top since you don't wanna add things like paintings or uh, flower pots inside of a storage unit. Oops, let's just correct that. This brings the color in in a way that makes sense. So no one's gonna second guess that, hey, there's some hay barrels inside of the storage area. Okay guys, and that is it all complete. So let's take a look at what it looks like as a whole, as a complete windmill. So on the inside, of course, we have all of our lovely storage and the eye popping hay barrels because apparently I talk too much. <laughs> but on the outside, you can see a lot of the details. We have the awning, we have, you know, just the whole building as a whole looks pretty finished, I would say, and I'm really happy with it. So now I think it's time we move on to the blacksmith. And here we are back at the blacksmiths. And as you can see, not much has changed since the last time you saw it. But I thought that a good addition to the blacksmith area would be some armor stands because I'm sure that blacksmiths make armor and why not? It fills in the space lovely and I think it just kind of makes sense. And we do have an abundance of armor that you get from all of the raids. So I thought, why not just suit them up, right? <laughs> and they need boots and a chest plate. And I won't dress them all up fully because I wanna have a little variation. I don't want them all to look the same. So I also grabbed some swords and some axes just to kind of give it a feel like there's something different. Let's see, can I move you into a better pose? Ooh, that's ominous. All right, mm, I think that one will do. 
So, what we can do next is build a shelving unit in here, I think. We're gonna be on a little bit of a shelving unit kick. So we'll start like we start everything else with a variety of trapdoors. <laughs> because I'm pretty basic apparently and I use the same techniques all the time. But that's okay. And I think I want to make this one wider than the others. And I'm actually going to do it off the top of this step, which is also a crafting bench you may have noticed. So let's just do this and we can still walk by. And I think that that's actually going to be a really good use of that space because it was a really wide open space that I wasn't quite sure how exactly to deal with because I didn't want to make a bunch of tables or anything. But I think that's a lot of decorating on camera so I'm actually going to do the rest off camera and I'll come back when it's done. Okay guys, so here's what I did and I hope you like it. So I did add a few barrels and armor stands with some of them fully armored, some of them not. And then I've added more armor stands over here just to kind of fill in this space because it was looking kind of empty because you can't place things on top of these trapdoors right here. So I've added some more lighting and, you know, just given them a few tools. And then of course, another shelving unit because these things fill in space nicely, plus they just look good in my opinion. And then you go up the stairs and you have a little living quarters. Nothing special, just some barrels with some beds and a nice little sitting area. I do have to get a piece of wool to put as a tabletop. But other than that, I think this is pretty much done. I might come in and add more detailing to the ceiling, but that's for a later time right now. I just wanted to fill in the inside just to make it look a little bit better because it was pretty empty. And let's actually go get that piece of wool just so I can say, you know, at least that much is done. I'm pretty sure my wool box is in here. Um, do we want to give him red or let's see, do up, oh, there we go. Yeah, let's, let's actually go with brown. I don't know why I feel like inside of a blacksmith's area, white would not last very long. So let's just... Add that on top, and now they have a nice little sitting area. And you know what? I think, I think that finishes it off. We've managed to get quite a bit done today, and I think that's where we're gonna end today's episode. Thank you so much for stopping by. I appreciate you, and I will see you in the next one. Bye, guys. Now